checking their name. So one of the per people who claimed to be Mahdi in the past was a person called Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Okay, that's his full name. Okay, now is his name Muhammad, the son of Abdullah? No. Okay, or even Ahmed ibn Abdullah. Yes, he has the Ahmed bit, but his full name is Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Okay, this person claimed to be a, the Mahdi in the past. Okay, and this was merely a stepping stone for this person. So initially, he claimed to be the Mahdi. He gained popularity, he gained a few followers. And then what did he do? He then changed, he contradicted himself. And now he claimed to be Isa alayhi salam. The Isa that is going to be, you know, promised that is going to return. He said, I am the Isa. And then after a while, he's gained even more followers. Now he's changed his claim again. And he said that I am a prophet. Okay, I am a prophet that's come after Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And remember this, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has told us himself, La Nabiya Ba'di, Ana Khatamun Nabiyyina La Nabiya Ba'di, that I am the seal of the prophets, there is no prophet after me. And in fact, the Quran Kareem even tells us this, that Ma Kana Muhammadun Aba Ahadim Midrijalikum, Wala Kir Rasulallahi, Wa Khatamun Nabiyyin. That Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not any one of your fathers, and he, rather he is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is the sealer of the prophets. So he is the last prophet. So this person, he made lots of false claims. If you listen to this person, he then one time, he said that I am Adam alayhi salam, I am Nu alayhi salam, I am all the prophets in one. Na'udhu billah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from these type of trials and these type of people and until now there are people who still believe in him they still follow him okay this man was from a place in pakistan is called qadian okay so his followers are known as qadiani so they still exist till today but his first claim was to be the mahdi okay so his name is mirza ghulam ahmed okay and what do we which the mahdi that we are waiting for what is it his name going to be muhammad the son of Abdullah okay so them two they don't match okay number two a person very recently very recently these are the last few weeks now I would say maybe a month ago you can say this person has claimed to be the Mahdi okay his name is Muhammad Qasim Ibn Abdul Karim okay in Pakistan he's come out in Pakistan as well and he said he's saying that I've seen lots of dreams okay and you know, Allah is sending me lots of information. And then he himself has not openly claimed to be Mahdi, but his followers are basically saying he is the Mahdi. Okay, there's even AI videos. AI has made videos of scholars or YouTube scholars. So, for example, Mufti Mank and other famous YouTube scholars. And they, in their video, they're basically saying he is the Mahdi. It's fake videos made by AI, but they... In those videos, it's saying that he is the Mahdi. Okay, so he's very recent. Now, again, we look at this person's name, Muhammad Qasim, the son of Abdul Karim. Does that match with the name that we are looking for? No. So, he cannot be the Mahdi. Obviously, there are other signs. So, just because your name might match, that doesn't mean that you are the Mahdi. Because there was a person in 1979. Now, I don't know if some of the elders here, they are remember this or not in 1979 there was a man that was called Muhammad the son of Abdullah al-Qahtani so he matched the name and he claimed to be the Mahdi and he was basically working with a man known as al Juhayman I think and what they did is they went to the Kaaba and they took the Kaaba hostage 1979 Okay, what they did straight after namaz, the imam finished his namaz, they quickly ran there and they took the mic. Okay, they took the mic forcefully off the imam and the, the person, he made a speech. Okay, in that speech, he informed the people what the Prophet ﷺ has told us about Imam Mahdi, different narrations. And at the end of it, they said that the Mahdi is amongst us. 
Okay, there is a person here who fits all the descriptions of Mahdi. Now come and pledge allegiance to him. And they locked all the doors of the Kaaba Sharif. And you can even hear in that video the person is instructing certain people go to this door, go to that door. If people rebel, shoot them. Okay, so they blocked all the doors. Nobody could come in, nobody could come out. And this siege lasted for over two weeks okay the five time namaz in the haram they were not taking place okay and for two weeks this lasted many people died of hunger okay many people were killed okay now imam mahdi he is not going to force people to pledge allegiance to him he's not going to kill innocent people so yes this person who claimed to be mahdi in 1979 Okay, there's even a BBC article regarding it if anybody wants to go home and Google it. Okay, just out of curiosity, does anybody from back then remember this incident? I don't know if I'm looking at certain people whether they were alive in 1979 or not. Do you remember? Not remember 1979? No. Okay. So you can, you can search this on Google. Okay, there's an article as well. <laughs> so... Um, so yeah, so just because his name matched the same name, did, that doesn't mean he's going to be the Mahdi, okay? So this person eventually, it lasted two weeks, the fake Mahdi was actually killed and the person who was running this whole operation, he was executed publicly, okay? So this person was not the Mahdi as well. So that's one important thing I just wanted to clarify, that the Prophet ﷺ has told us that the Mahdi's name will be Muhammad, the son of... Abdullah okay so if there's anybody else that says that his name is X Y and Z straight away we can rule him out of being the Mahdi okay so now we're going to